I am Dr. Pramod Reddy Kandakure. I am the Clinical Director, Cardiothoracic and Vascular Surgery, Aortic Surgeon and Minimally Invasive Cardiac Surgeon. So today I will discuss regarding coronary artery bypass surgery, commonly known as the CABG surgery. A lot of patients, a lot of persons, they have some misconceptions or fear about coronary artery bypass surgery. Coronary artery bypass surgery is the commonly done surgery in cardiac surgery or heart surgery. It's the commonest surgery done. So there is nothing to fear. So risk is less comparative to what it was previously. So it's a substitute or sometimes it is better than uh, doing a PTCA because the long term results of coronary artery bypass surgery are better compared to other modalities of treatment in coronary artery disease. So this bypass surgery is done for coronary artery disease. So what is coronary artery disease? Coronary artery disease is, means the artery which supplies the blood to the heart gets blocked. So there are small small arteries that are there which supply the blood. So there are the smallest artery compared to other bigger arteries in the body. So all the cholesterol fat gets deposited into that one then it get, becomes calcium is deposited into that and then the artery becomes narrow and stiff. So the less blood supply, uh, heart gets less blood supply and uh, this problem happens. Sometimes it happens as a ischemia or sometimes patient has a stroke and then present to us for uh, further management. So what are the risk factors for having a coronary artery disease? So one is uh, familial, if you are any of the relatives or your ancestors have uh, this heart disease, there are high chances of having it. Then uh, food habits, food habits in the sense if you are eating more fried foods and more uh, junky foods or oily foods, then the chances of having uh, coronary artery disease are high. Diabetes is a predisposing factor, hypertension is a predisposing factor. Then uh, la lack of uh, physical activity also is a predisposing factor. So all these risk factors, even the environmental factors uh, play some role or uh, regional variations are also there in this uh, type of disease. So. It, all these factors play a role even though if you don't have all the risk factors still there are chances of uh, having a heart disease because of the stress or uh, what we have now, nowadays in our uh, working atmosphere we are uh, very much stressed and then uh, sometimes we have uh, this uh, type of diseases. So what options we have once we have once uh, we diagnosed uh, the coronary artery disease? So initially we do some tests uh, like ECG and then if ECG shows some changes or echo shows some changes then we do a TMT and then coronary angiogram we do it. So when the coronary angiogram detects like um, there are um, blocks are there in the vessels then we have to decide which, which uh, modality is better. So there are three options are there, one is surgery, another one is surgery, another one is stent and third one is medical management. So the three options are there for all patients. So we have to choose which one is better for them. If the left main artery is blocked and then patient has a three vessel disease, there is a standard guideline, American as well as European guideline, then surgery is better because the long term results are better compared, compared to other modalities. So the, the stent, if the one or two arteries are uh, good and then now now is cardiologists are little aggressive but uh, these modalities also are available. So we have to balance which modality is good. So coronary artery bypass surgery, what we do, we open the chest, conventionally we open the uh, chest breastbone, we cut the breastbone, we harvest uh, various conduits are there, some uh, conduits like uh, arteries are there behind left internal memory artery, right internal memory artery, one uh, radial artery is there or leg veins are there. So we harvest those conduits and we use it for the coronary artery bypass surgery. So coronary artery bypass surgery. So these are the coronary artery bypass surgery conduits which we used commonly. So some we do it uh, depending upon the heart condition, beating heart surgery or uh, on pump surgery. If the arteries are good target, we do a beating heart surgery. If the arteries are smaller, then we do a uh, on pump, we do the surgery. So usually the post-op recovery is around five to seven days. And once the recovery patient is recovered, we discharge uh, the patient uh, home and then he has to do some physiotherapy exercises, he has to control his, uh, his diet and less uh, fat uh, intake he has to do, he has to do some uh, regular exercises. And once, uh, normally it takes around 15, day, uh, 15 days to uh, 3 weeks to get back to normal. The other option is to do a minimally invasive surgery which we can discuss uh, in the other video. Thank you.